Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Roleplay the West Marches. Thanks for joining us here on the July 4th weekend. Zeke, what's wrong with you? Uh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> we only, I only caught, like, the last end of the screaming. So what, what was that? No, I wasn't screaming. I was just overreacting. Oh. <laughs> he was it's called performance. Look at it. I just looked Acting. over, and you're like this, and I was like, is he fighting a bee? Like, what's going on? <laughs> a very slow-ass bee. Yeah, a super slow-ass bee. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, if you missed last week, this is going to be a continuation of that, so probably stop watching and go watch it on YouTube. Uh, but if you don't care about spoilers, we'll uh, we'll get to that in just a sec. Time to find out what everyone's been up to the past week. Zeke, you've been sick. Uh, well, I just recently got sick. Oh, okay. Um, I uh, On my fucking flight debacle back from uh, San Francisco, like on the plane, I started feeling my, my glands swell up, and then mm. it's... It just destroyed my entire head um, when I woke up in my, like, when I got home and woke up yesterday. And it was just like, and this happens, like, every couple of years, like, one and a half, two years, I get my glands swell up and it's hard to breathe and swallow and stuff. And it just makes me a generally unhappy person. But I think, like, I was talking about it with these guys, and I think it might, might be because I never had my tonsils taken out. I never have either. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Yeah, it but, uh, that that surgery sucks at our age, Zeke. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass to do. Great. Yeah, <laughs> it's a real pain. In the, I don't recommend doing it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go as long as possible. Yeah, but until I can die from the surgery. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm waiting like to get to like 45 where it's like it's really risky. It's like ah, ah you're gonna go. get cancer from this surgery. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It's gonna happen. It'll happen. <laughs> wow. That's how it'll go down. Uh, well, cool. We'll, uh, we'll find out more about uh, your trip oh, on, uh, on drop frames. Oh, sure. You bet. You bet. <clears throat> we'll save that for, for drop frames. Cause we can't talk to you and co too much. Cause we have got you on too many shows. Yeah, right. Sure. That's true. <clears throat> That's true. Uh, Shannon, what's been going on with you? Uh, I spent all day this afternoon playing space station 13. So getting back into that a little what? bit, which what is, is super space fun. station 13. What is that? Base Station 13 is actually a free game on the Beyond client. It's like a really niche little part of the gaming world, and it's all RP. And it's basically a space station simulator where you get like a job, and then you go around doing that job for however many hours until the spaceship inevitably explodes from someone trolling or something happening. And they're supposed to. There's antagonists and everything. It's really fun. It's super stressful, but it's really fun. So Never I did that. that, and that's going to be helping me get off of my arc binge because I think I am now finally getting to the point where after yeah. 270 <laughs> hours in arc in one month, I think I've finally gotten to the point where I've had enough. Just a little bit. I'm going to Who even ease plays? Off. Is Pocket your, your Pocket's in there. Drug fiend yeah. in that game? Yeah, Pocket, <sighs> Wish, John Sandman. They, okay. they play with me all the time. Gotcha. We, uh, we get strip in like a few times a week still. Yeah. So, I stole uh, them back with the sports ball. I noticed. I was like, what is this? What is this thing that he's playing that's not ARC? That's he's all I know of it ball, is that yeah. it's not ARC. Yeah. yeah. Sports yeah. ball? Yep, we're playing the sports ball on the PC. <laughs> awesome. All I heard was that it's like racing with soccer. What? It's like RC cars playing soccer. It's the best way to describe it. Oh, okay. oh, that look, that game looks fucking awesome. It's sick. Comes out on gotta, Tuesday. You gotta start playing Zeke, or I guess Tuesday you can start playing. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, well, cool, Steven. What's been going on with you? Oh man, not much. Um, I got I got the box set of Netrunner. And a uh, and an expansion pack for that. So my what? my buddy and I are gonna start playing some Netrunner. The hell is Netrunner? It's a card game. It's asymmetrical. There's a corporation and a runner. It's it's basically like Shadow Runner, but no elves or whatever. It's it's like William Gibson meets Magic: The Gathering, basically. Interesting. Um, it's super fun. So, like, the corporation is building, like, fortresses of ice that protect remote servers on which they're installing agendas. The runner is trying to punch through ice in order to steal the agendas from the corporation. The corporation can, like, uh, what is it? I forget exactly. They're, they're, pay they're spending money to, like, res the agendas so that once they get it fully paid off, then they get it into their score pile. And that's... How you? That's how you win as a corporation. The runner wins by stealing agendas from the corporation. But it's fun because it's like the corporation oh. can like tag the runner and then do terrible things to them when they're tagged. The corporation can hide traps instead of hiding um, agendas. 
for the run into run into. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There's 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 a lot of strategy in it. So yeah, I've never heard of that. My buddy and I are gonna play it up. It's uh, it was popular in like the 1980s first, I think. It, it was it was a really old game. That sounds pretty old, yeah. And and then uh, just recently, Fantasy Flight like bought the rights to it and issued a reprinting. So they're starting to bring it back up. Nice. Uh, yeah. Did you cook anything over the weekend? Anything special? No. I made like some huevos rancheros. That Even was that delicious. sounds good. Yeah. Some some. You know, like black beans, rice, yeah. eggs, mm, spicy salsa. What else? I made pancakes this morning. Good ass pancakes. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. See, That's I know, about I know it. Steven's always cooking. He's a, he's a cook. It's been a while since I've cooked, like, for serious. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, I, I need to start getting back into it. Yeah. It would be a lot cheaper if I cook. It is a lot cheaper, yeah, for sure. But I did go to an awesome Indian restaurant in Montreal. Really? Uh, like, two or three days ago, so that was really good. Huh. I'll have to uh, get the name of that from you when, when next time I'm in town. Yeah, man. Co, last but not least, what have you been up to? I, I saw you were playing a little bit of Terraria the other day. Are you still in hard mode? Are you still suffering through that shit show? Yes. Yeah. It is, it's basically my, my first real run of Terraria. Expert uh, I'm an expert mode medium core, so I drop everything when I die. Oh, God. And um, that has led to some interesting situations. Oh boy, uh, we we unlocked hard mode on our server the other day, and we all pretty much quit and went and played Rocket League. <laughs> it was just too <laughs> difficult. It was too difficult, way too difficult. But uh, I think we'll eventually return to it. Um, I, what bosses have you killed on Expert? Any? Really, none yet. I I'm it's just like hard. getting my platinum armor. Yeah, dude, it's yeah. it's really rough, man. I mean, the, some of the the enemies, like the skeletons and stuff, they can throw an item that'll do more than half my health a hit. Jesus. And uh, yeah, and it's nuts. And they'll just sit there throwing it. One one mob poisons me, and if he does that, I die unless I just like spam health. So, it's 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 been pretty fun. That's, pretty fun. That's a word. Yeah. But I've been I've been peppering in arc and uh, Counter Strike. Been playing more Counter Strike. I'm ranked three now. Competitive. Here I come. Watch oh, out. Shit. We should play and, our first uh, competitive match together so I could just start screaming. Me, dude, me I, I, you, totally. Jeff, <laughs> Waffle, I don't know who the fifth would be. I'll figure it out. We should do it, though. It'd be fun. JP, all I I'm want totally. from you is more of you playing with Jeff and, like, doing all those ridiculous oh, the accents, voices. Yeah. I love those. Yeah, the best, the best <laughs> night of that where we, like, role-played inside of CSGO was with uh, Day9. It was off stream. It was me, him, and Ryan. Uh, uh, Ryzilla. And like yeah. Day Nine was doing uh, this terrible British accent, and it was just the dumb. Like the other team was just like, "Shut the fuck up, Art! Like we don't want to hear you speak ever. You're not British. You're not fooling everybody." He just kept it up. <laughs> it was mm. it was great. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, well, cool. Let's uh, let's talk about what we did last time. We're all in a yeah. forest right now. Yeah. So you guys were all wandering around in this forest. Um, I had this drawing of this little man here. I think you guys are all seeing that. Yeah, you like you the drew meat, yeah. the Deku tree that's pissed off. Yeah, I <laughs> drew an angry Deku tree. So, um, what happened? Like, we started off by uh, Kellen. You had heard a rumor that um, there were trees in the forest or plants in the forest that had uh, grown greater inactivity recently, right? Um, and you wanted to investigate that, and as a result, or uh, sort of. As a part of that, you heard a rumor that uh, there had been a camp of loggers that had been wiped out. And nobody really knew why. So y'all y'all made your way to the camp of loggers and uh, you discovered that it had been wiped out. You found all these like scrapes and scratches in the ground that looked like branches as if like plants had been wandering through the area or whatever. Um, and then you wandered down a trail left by the loggers and found a couple of spots where they had cleared away some trees along the side of the trail. Um, at one of these spots, you fought a bunch of vine blights. And then uh, you fell, followed the rest of the trail until you found that it actually looped back on itself or something. Um, anyway, you've started sort of repeating your, your path along the trail. You ended up making your way back to the spot where you fought the Vine Blights, and uh, that's where we ended. Did y'all take a long rest after that? Was that the plan? Well, we the, we took a rest of some sort, and then we walked basically in a circle. Yes. And that's right where we ended, so... Yeah. I don't know if we ended, like, in scene or if we ended resting. I actually had one quick question um, that I was actually going to ask at the end uh, before we end. I totally forgot. When we mm -hmm. walked that circle... 
did yeah. we walk through the area that we had originally been to the camp, the place that we found the piece of hardwood originally, or did we not go back to that area? No, you didn't make your way back to that area. Okay. Um, I think like some of y'all were sort of wondering if you were caught in some sort of like magical lostness loop or something like that. Um, and someone suggested maybe trying to walk back to the camp as a way of identifying whether that was the case or not. How's everybody doing on health? It looks like Kurthak's pretty low. All the uh, rest of you look like you're completely full though. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at eight. Okay. I guess we should probably take a rest. Does everybody have we like should. spells and stuff? Like how's your resources looking? Shannon probably shouldn't have any, right? I have no level one spells I could use. I have my cantrips and that's it. Mm. So we should probably rest. I um, agree. Yep. Yeah, let's take a rest. If we if we rest, um I think like now that I'm level now that I'm level two, I have what is this? Um I've got this new thing. Where the hell did it go? What, you mean level three? Or no, you're you're like no, 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 no. XP level, from level two. Three. Yeah, I'm 18 XP away from level three, so uh -huh. you know. Um, oh, is waiting. your is your session goal the same as it was last time? Uh, to clear the whatever forces in the Starkwald. Yeah. Discover think, what's wrong with the plants in the Starkwald and correct yeah. it. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, we still haven't technically done that. Yeah. Uh, but I thought I had something that can help, like, expend... Yeah, it's Song of Rest, so it helps yeah. speed up the rest process. So do you do you know exactly what that does, Shannon? Can you yeah, use it I thought in, I put uh, it in my Roll20 thing. One sec, I'll just... I have it on my other thing, so I'll just go and read it here. Okay. Yeah, and as far as that uh, level four thing goes, <clears throat> uh, I added the ability... Uh, Bonus, the ability uh, modifier, whatever. Um, yeah. Two points spend. I spent one in dexterity to, to bump it up to 18, and one point in strength to bump it up to 14. So I, I did do my level four thing. Okay. Um, nice. But I also didn't get, I didn't get anything else, though. Like, no more spell slots, no more anything, actually. You didn't get any more spell slots at level four? Nope. I'll double check that real quick. I am triple checked it. You're right, man. You got nothing. You got an ability score improvement, and that is it. But that's why I was considering, like, maybe I'll go uh, uh, double class or, you know. Yeah. Starting. But nah. when you hit level five, your proficiency bonus is going up. You gain an extra attack. You gain a second level spell slot. Yeah. Level five is a big level for you, Zeke. Oh, yeah. level five is a big level. Let's see if we live to get there. Yep. Yeah. So your your strength is eighteen. Oh, your dex is eighteen now. Yes. And your strength is 14, okay. Oh, even more plus ones for my uh, bow and arrow and stuff. Yep, that's pretty wild. Does your dex go up to plus four? Yep. Okay, any cool. even number, I realize that. Any even number is the... is The, the bump up. up? Yep, the bump off. Bump up. Bump off. So I had a bump... is the bump off. <laughs> no, I had a 13 in, in strength. Oh, yeah, you should roll for HP as well. Or no, are you taking the average XP? And that's the thing. I'm wondering <laughs> what Ooh. I should do. So what's your average HP on that roll? Uh, what, it's I, a D8, that, so it would be a 5, right? No, it's it's 10. Five. Oh. D10 oh, for it's a D10. And, yeah. Oh, so it, it'd be a uh, 6, six. average HP. If I, if six I took plus it. 1, so it'd be 7, right? Plus your con? Yeah, yeah. plus the con, yeah, yeah. So 7, or you can roll a D10 and go I for know, an and 11. That's the thing. Like, I've rolled so far. Like, maybe the gods... If you if you look in the, in the, the D20 page, you'll see me. I was, like, <laughs> doing some... Uh, practice rolls to see if I could get it. Nice, yeah, yeah. That's a uh, God. I don't know. I, I mean, wondering if I should just let fate decide because that was one of the, always the most terrifying rolls was the the hit die roll. Yeah, the hit die rolls. The 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 thing about it is, in a long enough run, you're never going to beat taking the quote unquote average on yeah. that die because it's actually higher than the average, right? Much higher, yeah. <laughs> they roll up. There they round up, yeah. Uh, yep. Even nicer, they add one to it, yeah. Yep. So, hey, Zeke, you know, hey, Zeke. feel free to Zeke. roll if you like. You should roll. I should roll. <laughs> I really should, should roll. roll. You know, it could add to my you character. Maybe he's weak. Maybe he doesn't <laughs> like to be in the midst of battle. That's true. All right. You know what? You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna leave it to the fates to decide I am going to roll. Ooh. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. God. D10 plus one. got to watch this. So, Let's go with a nine. At the very least, at the very least, I could I I'll be at twenty. Yeah, at the very least, you're jumping into the twenties. I'll be at twenty-two hit points rather than just twenty. 
But at the best, I could I could get up to thirty. Yep, that's true. You could gain fifty percent of your HP here, right? Right, right here, right now. I like letting the, I like letting the fates decide. All right. Here's the gambler. Come oh, on, buddy. Come on. Let's do it. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, you got the same exact <laughs> thing. The same fucking thing. All right. So you're seven safe, total Zeke. HP. I did. So you're at twenty five now, right? That Who was, was the, clenching their butt cheeks on that one? That was the least disappointing, disappointing <laughs> yeah. role. Yeah, that was that was a disappointment completely. I think. I know. Yeah. But twenty-seven. 20. I'll take. It. <laughs> Is it twenty-seven? Yeah, I was at twenty total before, and then six plus one. No, no, I thought you were at, my my sheet said eighteen. Was that incorrect? Like that was incorrect because I I rolled a one previously. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Oh fuck, that's right. okay. Yeah, right. so now I'm at 27 total. Yeah, I've been rolling pretty shitty as far as yep. points go, but eh. gotcha. We have the same HP now, Zeke. Oh, we do. Level four and level three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty damn good for a barbarian, and uh, for the ranger to have the same HP as a barbarian. Yeah. Would you stop saying HP? It bothers me. I'm H sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. I got. Is this is tortured. this the conversation that's going on around the fire as you guys camp at night? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we we did do a camp. I don't think any of us rolled for rest die though. Because remember, I told that story of the the person that was in jail with me or whatever to Zeke. Right. Yeah. Did y'all do any? We like, didn't do a short rest. Did you spend any? We didn't spend times? any points. I don't think just because okay. I wasn't thinking. But I would have. Okay. Right. Um. Well, I mean, if we... Is yeah. it still worth long resting? Uh, what's a short rest? It's You could still use... Short rest is an hour and you can spend hit dice. And then a long rest regenerates your hit dice and it also regenerates your spells and stuff. So, like, the only thing that you lose by taking a short rest instead of a long rest is you don't regain spells. We, we need to long rest then. Okay, yeah, we'll just long rest. All right, cool. Okay. Maybe we'll um, send, like... Maybe we tell... Uh, or Kurthak tells uh, Kellen to perhaps explore around and see if you can figure out why the, the if it was just our, our folly and like losing track in the forest or if there's something else going on. Mm. Yes, and that's <clears throat> that's he, he would know right away though, right? Because he's got that, the thing that says he, he knows he can't get lost unless it's magic. Well, that's so, the question. Do I know is, that? <laughs> is, it, is it like a for sure knowledge, like intuition, you, you just you just gut your, your gut knows, or is it one of those things where you, you're not quite sure and you have to second guess yourself and whatever else? Let's see. While traveling for an hour or more in your favored terrain, yeah, um, you, he knows that he can't become lost except by magical means. Okay. Um, so, uh, like, what I interpret that as is that you have such a strong understanding of the forest, you recognize signs of stuff nearby, you're just never gonna become lost in the forest because you know forests generally so damn well. Um, so, Zeke, uh, as you've been traveling down this path, you've noticed a couple of times like the signs and, and indications that you are actually looping back around. The path curves very faintly. Um, you know, you're seeing the shadows slowly change direction as you're following the path. And then when you actually join back up with the path that you, um, that you had been on originally, you're able to very quickly see like, ah, you know, there was a little exit off of that path that was well hidden. You passed it, you know, heading the, the, heading the original direction because it was hidden from that direction. But it's clearly has formed a loop that these guys have used to bring uh, logs back to camp along. So, you, so you're you're not magically lost, and you're not lost at all. In fact, okay, just a misstep then. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I, uh, in my experience, uh, being tired from a battle or being tired from for any reason uh, will. <sighs> have an effect on your ability to navigate well. I think it's just exhaustion. As soon as we have a little bit of time to rest and uh, gain our senses back, I think we can continue forward the way we were going without much, without much trouble. Mm. Okay. okay, hang on. Let me grab my notebook and then I'll figure out. Talk mm. amongst yourselves and decide what kind of order you want for your watches this evening. Well, you guys still don't want me watching, right? Yeah, I would rather turn oh. back. Just, oh, we don't. just lay back, bud. We got it. It's all good. 
Yes, lay back and dream of ugly women. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, because he's a fucking ugly ass orc, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it's a line from Princess Bride. Nice. So last time it was Bardrick, Sheldrick, and then Kellen. And yeah, you guys were cutting Kurthak out of the watches because he's an ugly ass orc. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, no, because he's crazy, I think. Yeah. For the reason. And oddly enough, uh, Sheldrick is the kind of crazy we can deal with. Yeah. Yes. We'll yeah. let him we'll watch. Yeah. Okay. So is that what you guys want to do again this evening? Yeah. Cool. So, so yeah. Um, Bardrick, would you click the discovery button at the bottom of the screen for me? Oh no. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Kellen, would you click the discovery button at the bottom of the screen? I don't like these clicks. <laughs> so far, okay. so good. Um, the night passes uneventfully. Uh, do any of you want to take a scene for your character? I don't think so. Oh. I don't, at least. I'd like to hear something from... Uh, I didn't think of that. Like what's going on in Sheldrick's head right now as far as him and his brother are concerned. Mm. I a uh, well, that that there's more coming on that. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite ready quite yet though. Okay, okay, all right, all right. But more is on the way. Kellen, what about you? Like going out and uh, sort of trying to track down these elves that your father, you know, told you to seek out. Is how are you feeling about that? All right, I'll take it. <laughs> all right. Um. So. As these guys are, are settling down and preparing and stuff, I'm kind of, you know, darting in and out of the forest from here, you know, like just scouting our environment to see. And um, I've done this so many times. Like this is second nature to me. Like being in the woods is my home. You know, I can I can survive for long periods of time within the woods. And so it doesn't take up a whole lot of my mental capacity. So my, my mind wanders. Hmm. And it wanders onto, um, um, obviously, it wanders onto my my father and mother, and he's has time to think about the the challenge that his father uh, set upon him as far as becoming a man and being uh, worthy and being um, um, strong enough to help their fight. Uh, with whatever evil that they are fighting against right now that called them away. Um, he reflects upon all of the the failures and successes that he's had along the way and how much wiser and how much more confident he feels in his mm. abilities. He has, he has scars to prove where he's been and he has tales to tell of, of uh, his competence in battle and his valor. Yeah. Uh, so he reflects upon uh, the slaying of the basilisks, uh, the, the, the conquering of the, of the tomb with the specters, um, the acqu acquisition of um, Arnadia, the bow. Yeah. Uh, something to show for it. He has a necklace made of, of basilisk teeth. Um, he has a bow that is, that is of magical nature, intricately um, made. He has uh, a quiver of stone arrows that he won from his actions. Um, he has a scar on his face, uh, light though it may be, of uh, a sacrifice that was not taken. Um, and this is him just like foraging for food, like setting traps, you know, and you know, just thinking about, am I ready? Am I, am I worthy? Should I, if I find my father now, will, will things be different? And in his mind, <clears throat> He, uh, Kellen is ready. He is ready to face whatever comes. He is confident that nothing uh, can stand in his way between him and rejoining his family and fighting alongside them and being a productive uh, member of their party in fighting whatever evils they they found. Nice, cool. Yeah. Um, does anybody have a question for Zeke? Uh, what were like some of the failures before we met you that uh, perhaps like set this in your mind that you're not worthy? 
Well, <laughs> the getting lost is not the best <laughs> the best uh, uh, description of a ranger, but there have been times when I have tried to lead the parties or before we met you. Um, I think it, it, if I'm getting lost a lot, even though uh, it seems like I, it's, it's something that I shouldn't be doing, it's something that, that's from my past that I would be alone in the woods without my father and my mother guiding me and I would um, close off and uh, lean up against any tree I could find and just fear and, and uh, uh, loneliness in the woods until one of them found me and guided me back home. So I think that's part of uh, the reason why I try and take the lead as far as, because I want to prove that, that I can lead, that I can find right. my way through and stuff like that. And it's, it's a lot of times it just doesn't work. And that's because of something inside my sense of direction uh, <laughs> doesn't work exactly right. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. Nice. So I have, I have a quick one. Um, just out of curiosity, we've heard a whole lot about the mission and kind of the goal of attaining the status of kind of being proven and something you're working towards. But we've heard very little about what what happens when you achieve it? What happens afterwards? Is there, a, is there an immediate next step or is there at that point like what, what is the plan once that has been proven? It's kind of like a mission of revenge. Once your revenge is done, what do you do then? It's kind of, I haven't thought that far ahead. You know, it's like I'm, that's my only goal right now and then after that I might be just kind of screwed and wander around aimlessly. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> awesome. Nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. So, Kellen, you have inspiration. Who do you want to give inspiration to? Um, well, me to Sheldrick or to Kurthak? Does, does inspiration last through the episodes? Because me and Kellen both got, or yeah, me and Kellen both got at the end of last episode, right? Um, yeah. If you have it checked, then okay. you still got it. Okay. So if Kurthak has it, then you should give it to uh, to Sheldrick. Yeah, we'll give it to Sheldrick. Cool. I feel uh, inspired. What a <laughs> there we go. Boop. Plus, it just changes from a minus to a plus on the character sheet. I like that. And yeah. a much nicer color. And what is is inspiration in this? You said it's a D6 to any roll? That's what it no, is? No, inspiration is you spend it in order to gain advantage on any roll that oh, you okay. want. Oh, okay. So that's still the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bardic inspiration. Bardic inspiration yeah, Bard is the plus... Yeah, it's it's a shame I'm that they rich. named them so close. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. All right. Cool. Okay, so um, the night passes uneventfully. Kurthak, you wake up, you're fully refreshed. You have maximum hit points. Everybody, if you were down, I don't think anybody else was, but you're all back at maximum. You've regained all of your spells and all of your key points, anything else that recovers with a long rest. So just make sure you look at your character sheets and take back up your expended... Um, your expended things. Um, Kurthak, you sleep overnight, right? Uh, I, I guess maybe I like fend it off as much as possible, but maybe I just pass out from exhaustion. Yeah, okay. Um, you have a dream while you're sleeping. Um, you're in the forest and you're alone and all of your friends have abandoned you. Um, and you're running through the forest, like maybe you're trying to find them or maybe you're running from something that you don't really know. Um, but then you burst into uh, a clearing that's just around a small lake and the lake is completely black and it's lit by like a bright full moon overhead. So the forest around you is, is dark and tangled and twisted and the lake is just this placid black lake. Um, and there's just a moment of perfect stillness as you reach the edge of this lake. And then you see ripples start spreading across the surface of the water coming from the far end of the lake. Um, and a, a deer walks up out of the lake and it's, it's completely black, it's got water streaming off of it, um, but then it stands up on its hind legs and it turns to face you, um, and it's, its hind legs are still like backwards bent like a deer's legs are, yeah. but um, it has like long hands dangling down by its side, and its head is shaped like a man's head, but it has antlers coming off of it, um, and that's what you see before you wake up. Okay. I think Kurthak's seen crazier shit in his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So that's just like a normal night. Uh, is this like a reoccurring dream that I've had, or is this the first time I've had a dream like this? This is the first time you've had it. Okay. Did, did he suckle on any teats with like 
weird goddesses and shit. Like no <laughs> teats were thing? suckled. <laughs> okay. okay, I don't know, Stephen. You sure love those teats, you know. <laughs> It's every, so true. Every episode, there's, like, there's something to do with being a pimp. I'm yep, yep. Okay, uh, can I expend some hit dice? To heal? Uh, you don't need to. Oh, I'm full because of long rest? Yeah, long rest just fills okay, you up. Great. And if, you, if, you, if anybody had lost hit dice, like had spent them before, you regain half of your hit dice with every long rest. So gotcha. that's a thing. Gotcha. All right. Okay, cool. um, Kellen, can you give me a uh, perception check? Uh, no, I have poked out both of my eyeballs and no yeah, one. Good, <laughs> yeah. You guys wake up the next morning. Kellen has stabbed out his eyes. Good. So Why I, really I get the only spell thing work? I'm sacrificing everything. Um, <laughs> all right, perception. Here we go. Stabbing out your eyes would definitely work. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, as you were like. Dude. As you were strolling around the campsite last night, sort of like reminiscing about your your manticore lizard teeth necklace um, and things like that, um, you noticed a, a, a large number of scrapes and scuffs on the ground in the woods off on the right-hand side here where I'm pinging on the map. So if y'all were camping at that same spot where you fought the vine blights, um, you're seeing like basically a trail of their passage that heads off into the forest. And that was different from our first path, right? Like, our first circle around was up here, right? Up where? Like, it was further further north of us? Yeah, so you had gone up here, and then you came circled back around down to the bottom, up to this clearing, and that's where we ended last time. Okay. So y'all were resting in this clearing again. All right. I, I guess I wake up, and as I'm getting everything together, I'm just like, uh, Kellen, where, where are we off to today? You're the, you're the tracker here. Well... <clears throat> I feel exceedingly more comfortable guiding us off of the path through the woods. Uh, the woods speak to me so much better than anything else. And I found possibly the, the, where the vine creatures ingressed into this area and they have left a trail leading this way. And I point to the, to the right there. Uh, I found their trail. And we can follow that to the source, if you guys would be up for that. I think if that's our only lead, then maybe we should try it. I mean, you never know. So okay. Shadrach is kind of exasperated, and he's like, anything, let's just get going. Yeah. Girthic. I start heading off that way. After okay. They say it. All right. Cool. Then I will take I will take the lead after after considering all of that stuff that I was mulling over in my head. I will take the lead and I will guide us and track these creatures. Cool. Uh, give me a survival test. You betcha. Survival. There it is. You. Fuck. Yowza. Hey. Come on, man. Hold on. Hey, at least it wasn't on the HP roll. There's got to be something. True. That's a very good point. Let's I'm look at the like, bright side here. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just looking up. at, I'm looking at, like, if your natural explorer gives you anything for that, and it doesn't. So, <sighs> yeah. Good. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's not advantage in the forest. That's not a rule. No, it's not, there's nothing about that from natural explorer. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, okay, um, you follow the, the tracks uh, to a stream. Um, and you reach the stream and the tracks disappear into the water, Kellen. Um, so you've, you've been heading kind of north, uh, northeast, and the stream runs, um, yeah, the stream runs, um, it's been like a quarter of a day. It's been, it's been like two or three hours. Uh, the stream runs southeast to northwest, so uh, you're sort of intersecting, in fact, let me just like erase a whole bunch of stuff from here and I'll t show you guys the sort of path that you follow. Oh yeah, you could just use your chat. inspiration, couldn't you? Know, I was just going to say that, just for the chat, um, I try and save in for inspiration for the oh shit moments. So uh, just, oh, I do save, like I know I have inspiration, I use, I usually save that for when like, save versus dying immediately, I then I'll use it. But like, I know I have it, so relax. It's also worth noting that uh, 
you have to declare inspiration before you roll. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, you guys were coming. You guys will be the, the bright pink. You guys are sort of moving up this way along these tracks. And there's a stream that flows oh, I should like roll. this. Uh, and the tracks disappear into the stream. Um, which direction do you want to follow the stream along, Kellen? Oh, and also, I don't know if this counts for anything, but since it's my favorite terrain, I get double my proficiency. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, it's a seven rather than a five. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Anyway, sorry. I should look at what the difficulty class actually is in this area, but I know it's higher than a seven. <laughs> okay. Just thought I'd let you know. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so, so uh, do you want to go northwest or southeast along this along this stream here? Um, do I see any other any other the tracks from the? No, the the tracks have disappeared into the water. Like it's very clear the tracks approach the edge of the water. There are gouges all along the bank, um, and then there are no tracks on the other side of the stream. And that's okay. What you see. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Which which way is the water flowing? It's flowing down to the southeast. Okay. Um, I suggest we go to the source. Okay. Of the water. Cool. So you you head the group up to the northwest and start trudging. Are you going along the stream? Are you going in the stream? What's the point? Uh, stay, uh, by the stream, but staying staying in the forest in case we need to like I don't know hide behind trees. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, okay. before we go too far, did uh, did Kellen, when looking at the water's edge, notice anything outside of the tracks, like a boat mooring or maybe like a slice in the mud or anything that would indicate that they didn't just like slither into the water? Um, give me a perception test, um, Sheldrick. Like, you know, sounds like you're the one kind of double checking anything in the area to see if there's anything strange. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no. Apparently I go, what's a boat? And I just keep walking. <laughs> I think, no. like, maybe it's you're... It's you're, wet over here. You might, you might be, like, trying to, like, examine the edges of the water or the banks or anything like that. The stream is, like, 20 feet wide or something like that. It looks pretty deep in the middle. It's fairly swiftly flowing. But then, like, um, Maldrick's voice keeps popping into your head while you're trying to focus and, like, see if there's anything serious going on around here. And you just can't... You can't keep your... Can't keep your attention on the task at hand. Wouldn't be the first time. Right on. All right, good. We ain't found shit. We ain't so, found shit. So, Zeke, is your expression right now like you're really confused or you're really like worried that you can't find a path or that Man, you can't? Fuck no. No? You're going to look like you know what you're doing? Oh, of course. A good leader always. Okay. Then I'm not going to be checking, double checking on him because I'm thinking he's got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I, cool. You can say, like, I followed their trail all the way to the stream. Um, it seems like the most logical turn for them would be go to the source of the stream uh, where the water is actually, where the water pools or is coming from, and that would be probably most beneficial for things that survive on roots and water. Hmm. Yeah, good. So um, could you click the discovery button twice for me, Kellen? You betcha. There's uh, one. And there's two. Ooh. ooh. Okay, good. Yeah. Cool. Okay, good, yeah. Well, that second one's something. I know. <laughs> I can read so, it. So, uh, it, it takes you till about noon to, like, get, uh, get a little ways along the stream. And let me see what you find. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh God. <laughs> like those sounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to turn the pages loudly so you guys hear me flipping through my book. Oh God, Steven. Uh Drake. This is an important part of the game. As if I don't suffer enough with freaking Robic, like you're just Yeah. Okay. Um, good. Yeah, um, everybody give me perception tests. I 
this is a perception check. Nice. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, eight. Nice. Yeah, um, Sheldrick, I think you probably see this, but I don't think anybody else does. Like, Kellen is too focused on looking like he knows what he's doing. Um, Kurthak, uh, I guess you're, you're sort of keeping a lookout, but you just happen to be looking in the wrong direction when this is visible, and then you move forwards and it's no longer. Um, but Sheldrick, um, maybe you've, you've been in, like, just, just enough of a funk to keep your eyes sort of gazing uh, sort of off into space. And you step around like a, a large strand of trees, um, and Sheldrick, you notice that there is, um, I mean, there's nothing strange in this area except that there's a large twisted tree on the bank of the river that has a, a massive red shard of crystal growing out of its heart. How, how big are we talking here? Um, we're talking probably like the... The, the length and size of Kurthak's leg. So, <laughs> way larger than I can carry. Uh, it would probably need two people in order to carry it, yeah. Okay. So, as we walk into the clearing and I notice it, uh, I'm going to kind of look down at my belt, kind of mutter a few things and, and kind of nod and go, Hey, guys, uh, that may be kind of important. What? I, do, I looked. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're pointing. <laughs> do you see that? Do you see that tree? It it doesn't really look like the others. Look kind of to the left there. Do you see that that red? Okay. Uh, it's look, obvious. It's as oh. soon as he points it out. It's obvious. Okay. okay. Um, can oh, I God. make a survival or nature check to see if I if I know what this means or what it is? Um. Yeah. Give me a. Uh, Give me a nature check. It probably is better for this situation. Should I be doing the same thing if I'm also trying to like figure yeah, out? Yeah, totally. Check? If if you're curious about it, yeah, nature check. I'm assuming since I noticed it, I did not identify. Oh, does so it look red? Does it the look red? It looks red to me. Is it red? It looks red, but we've confirmed it's red. Um, <laughs> Sheldrick, go ahead and make a nature check as well, since you can check your nature skill if you want to. Yeah. Um, none of you have seen anything like this in nature or have heard anything about, like, crystals that grow out of a tree. But um, it's, a, it's a deep, dark red. It's, it's like um, almost a purple red, uh, and it looks almost flaky. Um, Kellen, something about it is, is tickling the back of your mind. I guess as we're looking at it, I'd ask Kellen and, and say... Uh... Is this something that could poison the forest, whatever this is? Yeah, like maybe that's like toxic or something. I'm not sure. Um, let me... I'm... Hey, Steven. Hmm. Can I try like a religion check and see if this has something to do with like some sort of nature magic or something like that? Sure. Okay. While he's doing that, uh, just a, a quick visual. The way the crystal's in the tree, is this like a violent injection? Like it has just, just like slammed into the tree? Or is, that, is the tree like grown around it? Like there's clearly no disturbing around the sides of the crystal? Are yeah, you going up to like, like the crystals investigate are like this? Born from uh, it? Actually, what I'm doing is... Oh, what was that, Shannon? Oh, it, I, yeah, I was just adding to that. Like, does it seem like the crystals are being born from the tree? Like currently, it's it's like fifty, sixty feet away. Are you guys gonna like go up and, and examine the edges and do some investigation of this? I, I walk up to uh, the back of Kellen's leg and tap it a few times. I go, you, "Hey, go check that out." <laughs> That's the nature guy, gonna, right? Go go touch go it. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, all right. You guys stay here, and if you hear me <laughs> scream, uh, come help. <laughs> okay. Mm. Right. I'm going to subtly follow behind him as will, he goes up. I will okay. stealthily, stealthily walk up to the tree. All right, Kellen, go ahead and my, give my me. Was a nine. What's that? My religion check was a nine. Yeah, you don't know anything about this from okay. from your knowledge of religion. Okay. Um, so I will stealthily walk up 
Yeah, give me Very a stealth bad. check. Be stealthily. Ten. As okay. we walk up. By the way, I look back at Bardrick and kind of touch my eye a little bit until so she notices and kind of point at Kurthag. And then turn around and keep walking with him. Okay. So, yeah, I turn back and I stay right by Kurthak. Mm. Do you notice that, Kurthak? Uh, probably not. I'm, I'm more focused on the tree instead of what my compatriots are doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Kellen, when you are about um, 15 feet away from the tree, mm -hmm. um, you, you notice like uh, there are two small bushes down at the base of the tree and they just sort of shiver. Okay, I stopped dead in my tracks. Yeah. Um, and you see them sort of continue shivering just for a moment and then they subside and then the entire tree starts shivering. Um, from here you can see that this, this sort of black red crystal is actually sort of exploded out of the chest of this tree. Uh, give me a perception test, Kellen. Okay. And and Shaldrick as well. <laughs> oh my god. We have the most middling rolls of all <laughs> today. Oh, well, they're bad rolls because I have a plus four to perception. Oh yeah, that's pretty <laughs> bad. Plus, all of these rolls, like good oh, plus crap. I'm just mm. blowing it. Yeah, um so let's see. Um Yeah, Sheldrick, um, the tree that you're next to, which is not the one with a uh, crystal jutting out of its chest. It's a How completely. How far is it from me? Is it, it's you're in a forest, right? Oh, yeah. like it's it's like maybe ten feet away or something like that. Um, yeah, it reaches down, it bends down with its branches, and it grabs you. Oh, uh, by the way, <clears throat> two things. Uh, I keep forgetting that I'm in my favorite terrain, so that, that perception check is an 11 rather than a 9. Ah, yes. Not that it matters, but also, uh, even when you're engaged in another activity while traveling, such as for foraging, navigating, or tracking, you remain alert to danger. Yes. So can like if I'm alert to danger, does that count for like maybe Sheldrick behind me? I think that would prevent you from being surprised, but it okay. doesn't prevent your party members from being surprised. My ass is gone. Yeah. I mean, trees, I'm do, gone. Do we see this happening? <laughs> you got like tree tentacle porn going on. Yeah, if, uh, if you and Bardrick are watching them move forwards, then yeah, you see a, one of these other trees reach down, grab Sheldrick with its branches, and then lift him bodily into the air. When you say You're reach dangling. down, is it like the entire tree's leaning over? Or like Yes, it's, it's like the entire tree sort of bends, and you hear this great creaking and cracking sound as the tree bends at the Can waist. Can we see the uh, the 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 bottom of the tree. I don't know. I, that should there should there's a term for that, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. It's roots, perhaps. The no, it's the roots are underground. The trunk. Okay. Yeah, the trunk. trunk? Can we see the trunk of the tree. Yeah. Okay. It, it looks it's indistinguishable from a normal tree. So we it's see Shadrick get picked up. Yes. And like flung back into the air. He's he's lifted up. He's being held. Okay. Okay. So as soon as that happens, I kind of let up a let out a little squeak like. Oop. And then I immediately start, like, I drop down on my belly, and I'm going to start, like, just moving st stealthily towards the tree. Okay. It feels like we should roll initiative. Yeah. So yeah, let, me, let, me grab your, let me grab your tokens out here. So we've got Bardrick. We've got Kurthak. We've got Kellen. And we've got Sheldrick. Uh, okay, so I go start ahead running and... towards the trunk of the tree, I guess, before any of this starts. But you tell me. I'm still going to roll initiative, though. Yeah. We're going to see how your initiative goes. Jesus! <laughs> oh, so, real quick to, to set the scene a little bit, how am I being held? Does it have me by the foot? Is it wrapped around my neck? No, it's got you around your chest. It's just reached down and scooped you up, branches wrapped around your chest. Uh, your and legs are kicking in the air. Is, is it like the kind of thing where it's tightening, trying to crush me, or I'm just kind of gingerly being lifted? It doesn't. It doesn't feel particularly tight. It doesn't feel particularly gentle. It's not crushing you right now. It's not doing damage to you. You're not taking any damage from this. But yeah, you're being held 10 feet off the ground. 
Uh, Steven, it, I just tried rolling initiative, and it tells me in orange, you attempted to use a you roll gotta, You gotta select, like select Bardrick on the screen. Yeah, like, help, like, select him, like, drag over the box, or drag the box over him. Yeah, so and, like, then, oh. and then click initiative. I've got a blank page right now. Is there, are you guys on a different page? Zoom out all the way, because we're in the center. We're, we're in, like, the top left, oh, uh, top see, center. Oh, I see, I see. Do you guys know the roll 20 devs by any chance? Yeah, at, we have uh, a DM who is one of them. You may want to suggest to him it'd be awesome if the DM could click somewhere and force everyone's focus onto it. Focus on that? Yeah, yeah that'd true. be good. It certainly would. What actual fuck? I can't even. It'd be even better if you could also set the magnify amount too. Yeah. There yeah. we go, there we go. Did you get it? I got it. So I've got that, and now. Please work. There. Excellent. There you go, buddy. Okay. <laughs> nice roll. Let's see. Yeah, that was a good roll. Rolling the rolls. I should be fucking rolling. Oh, Steven, if you shift ping, it makes everyone screen focus the screen. Really? Oh, shift left click. Shift ping. Yep. Hey, check that shit hey, out. Hey, cool. That's pretty sick. That's super good. Okay, so I'm going to put this one up here. Oh, and yeah. So its name is. Yeah. And this one is named the same. Mm hmm. So let's see. Um, so, Kellen, you're going to be 15 feet away from the vertical tree. Sheldrick, you're going to be right here, 10 feet away from this tree right next to you. You're being held. And then the other two are 30 feet back. So, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, so that's about where everybody is. Um, Steven, you feel like fucking YouTube? So every, everybody's thinking <laughs> before, before I can even shout or say anything, right? Yeah, so like neither of you noticed this other tree. It looked nothing like anything out of the ordinary, just a completely normal tree. Sheldrick was walking past. You get, like, Kellen, you step a little bit closer to the tree ahead of you with this shard sticking out of it. Uh, the, sh the, the, the shrubs at its base shiver, the tree shivers, and then Sheldrake, woof, like you hear the creaking, crashing of the tree next to you. You get lifted bodily off your feet. That's the scene that we see just as we go to our break. Yep. The only reason we're going to a break now is because this fight will probably take some time, and I don't want to yep. go over. Yeah, yeah. So. Yep. We'll be right back. Still got uh, some time left. I don't know how many hours this is going to take but we got four hours scheduled so three hours at least scheduled uh so we'll see you guys in just a bit with more role play west marches right after this we'll see you then <laughs> 